Hey there, it's Sherry from A Science. All right, I am out in my backyard. It's a little windy today, but it's definitely getting a lot warmer. So what better thing to do as we get around to summertime than making some homemade ice cream? And guess what? There's a little science behind it too. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fill up a bag and I already pre-made this. Um, it gets really, really cold and we're gonna talk about that. I filled up a bag with ice and then I filled it up with salt. Um, rock salt or ice cream salt works best. And I am just gonna shake this up. I'm gonna shake it and shake it and shake it and get that. What I want to do is I'm actually dropping the temperature of the ice by about 15 degrees below the freezing point by adding salt. So as I add that salt, I am going to just work this and smush it and we'll get that just going. And I did not bring my mittens. So as that sits, I'm also going to take a baggie, a small baggie, Okay, quart size, and I, I'm just going to eyeball this a little bit, but it's about a half a cup of half and half cream, and you might want to do the exact amount. I'm trying to go quick here. So I'm going to do that. I'm also going to add a little bit of vanilla because I like vanilla, but you could experiment with this. This is the fun thing. One of the things we can talk about is the math behind this. I'm going to use about a teaspoon of vanilla. I mean, talk about the math. How many teaspoons make a tablespoon? Um, how much does a half a cup or a cup of half and half cost if I use this? Um, so how much does it cost to make my ice cream? Maybe I wanna sell my ice cream. And then also, so maybe I need to figure out different flavors. Also, I'm gonna put in here a couple of tablespoons of sugar. So I've got one two tablespoons of sugar, and I'm gonna to try to get as much air out as possible as well. So I've got the air out of here. I am going to take this and I am going to put it inside my bag of ice. So remember, I told you that we lowered the, the point of the temperature with the salt in the ice but the other thing is, is that now it's pulling the heat because our ingredients in that bag with the cream and the sugar are warmer than the salt and ice. So I am gonna sit here and I am just gonna shake, 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 shake. I am gonna do this for about three to five minutes. So again, make sure that you have gloves. You could try this in a coffee can. Um, anything that rolls, you can roll it. It's great time to be outside. So you can roll it around on the sidewalk um, or on the patio. This is a fantastic summertime activity. So now if I'm shaking it long enough, I am going to open up my bag and I'm going to see that my ice cream, my cream in here, is actually starting to freeze. And I can just open up that baggie. Another thing you might want to do is have some water nearby and dip it in water to get kind of some of that salt off. But oh, look at there, it froze. And so I'm gonna take it, give it a taste. Mmm, delicious. There's nothing like homemade ice cream. And guess what? It's the perfect portion size for me. So have some fun, do a little science. I don't know how to cook, but I love kitchen science. Have a great day. And remember we are doing all of this because smart is cool. Bye.